Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Europa Universalis 4. Last we left off, we are at war with France, which is exactly what I wanted to try to avoid, but since for some odd what the heck? They're holding their own. And they've got a lot of reinforcements coming, and they're not reinfor- Why is France not reinforcing? Holy crap, why are they not reinforcing? Why are you sitting there? We might- Oh, oh, it's gonna get close. Oh, no, now, now they're reinforcing. They realized that they're, they're, they were shit. Oh, come on, guys, come on, guys, you gotta do this. Oh my god, if they fucking do this, this is gonna be impressive. Holy crap! Holy crap! I am impressed that that worked. That should have not worked. France is an idiot. Holy crap! Why would they do that? Oh my goodness. We might actually get pizza out of this deal. If we get pizza out of this deal, I'm going to be really happy. Although, let's see, this is going to take... Another ye half a year, it says eight months. Oh man, look ah, lower trade power. That's not good. Uh, no, we want to up admin strength. I think our tax base. Um, yep. I'm going to have to help out in this at some point. I, I, I'm still thinking about sitting in niche and just and just letting letting that work out. I, I don't really know if I want to, but they 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 took because that because because we had the advantage in the mountains. That's what won us the war. But I I've never seen a bonus like that uh, have such an effect. It was so ridiculous. We've almost taken Ferenz, which is their capital. When we start taking that, I believe that they might change their, um... Their, this is not going to last, by the way. I, I expect France to have problems, um... With, uh... This. I'm expecting France to, France to come back and just slaughter, like, because now they've split their armies. Like, I'm expecting them to just, like, take on one, one and then the other. So I don't even know if I want to come and help, to be honest. Uh, we did take down Ferenz, though, and now they're low enthusiasm. They might give away Arezzo now. I don't know if they'll give away Pisa. Um, let's go sit in Niche, though. Because that's Hills. Uh, we could try to take on that army, but again, like I said, attacking into... Oh, that's just farmlands, actually. I mean, we could try to attack that army. Uh, is this worth reinforcing? No, it's grasslands. Or, um, farmlands. I don't like... I, I feel like we need a defensive position. Like, the mountains would be defensive. Uh, could we sit here and not worry about... No, supply limit will be a problem. And we can't go there because of that fort. Is that in the... That's in the hills. What about... I want to sit in Avignon. This is not going to go well. This is not going to be a good fight. I don't want to participate in that fight. Um, <laughs> look at that. That was brutal. Oh my, yeah, they're coming in full force. Uh, Dauphine. Um, if they, if, if we, if we have to defend ourselves in Dauphine, I would do that. I would, I would, I would, I would move into Dauphine to protect, protect us. Is Navarra a uh, vassal of France? They are, actually. That's not good. Um, we can attack Parma. Do we just want to attack Parma while we're in this war? <laughs> that seems like suicide! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so what we got here? Uh, we do this. That sounds good. There we go. I feel like we need more military tech as well, because, yeah, er, all everyone around us seems to be at four. 
Well, not everyone, just France. Yeah, just France. Oh, and Aragon. I guess we will do uh, Military Tech 4 uh, at some point really soon. The only thing we got going for us is the ticking war score, which is good. Uh, I just don't think. Like, look at the look at this disadvantage we're at. We're at such a disadvantage right now. I've got so little manpower too. Uh, we could attack that army, but not before that army reinforces. Um, so that's not even worth trying. Um, I'm half expecting him to. Again, if they go after Dauphine, if they go into Dauphine, I'm going to... Oh, that's a bad move, dude. You don't want to do that. You, you, you did that. Why would you do that? Why would you leave your defensive position? I'm not helping you. Not. I'm not helping. You're going to get wrecked. You're getting wrecked. Oh, I've gone full circle. I went from being really angry about this whole situ situation, and, and now I'm like, this is this is a fun. Look, watch, watch how bad they can be. <laughs> oh, it's pitiful. It's a pitiful attempt, is what it is. I almost want to sit in Dauphine because if they attack me, I want to defend like that. That would be great. It's just the just sitting in Dauphine would cost me uh, manpower, so I don't want to do it. Really. <clears throat> what is going on in this? Pretender Rebels, huh? This is insane. The Pretender Rebels are, are winning because it uh, looks like uh, Sp Spain's army is all in here, in Portugal's army. It's too bad for Castile. As long as I'm not getting seized down, I'm okay. Why would you head this way? Why head that way? Go to Dauphine, sit there, wait for them to attack you. It worked before, just do it again. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... None of these are good. I don't like any of these. These are all bad. Genoa's bad. Gen everything's bad about this playthrough right now. I'm watching it. It's bad. Is that mountains? It's not even mountains! Sit in the frickin' mountains! Is it really that hard to sit in the mountains? Go! Look! Naples is doing it. Naples has got the idea. Go s Naples. Naples, you're killing me. You're killing me, Naples! Ugh. So we have our claim. Can we, can we just get out of this war? Can we just like be like, hey, I want that? I can! I'm out of this war! I'm gone! Uh, we are going to have unlawful territory from the Emperor. Uh, hopefully he's not... Hold on, let's check this. No, he's, he's got... Let's um, improve relations with him a little bit more. Uh, and then we're going to do this peace treaty. Peace deal. Because I, I just want my land and then I'm done. It's all. Uh, can we get anything else out of it? Can we get war reparations? Can we, can we have him end his uh, alliance with France? No, that's not going to happen. Which means we're probably not going to get war reparations. So we're just going to go... Eh, a little bit of money? A little bit of money? Oh, we can get a lot of money, actually. There we go. Yes! All right, look at that. We got our first piece of territory. Just like that. Uh, we need more uh, administrative power before we can deal with it. Uh, but we are going to uh, raise the autonomy a little bit and set our troops there, and that will be fine. Oh, man. We got something! Woo! <laughs> we also left the Papal State high and dry. They're probably a little bit pissed, pissed. Oh, they're not that pissed um, with us. We did our job, I guess. Um, we're not. What I will do is not give France military access. Is what I will do. Um, or or uh, Florence. So, oh man, I can't believe. We, so now we can attack Parma immediately. Actually. So, oh, they're allied. They're allied with Provence. No. Provence is ruining my plans. We could attack Milan. That would be somewhat funny, because Milan is, um... Mm. Oh, we could attack Siena. That's right. Okay, we should do that instead. Let's move over here. 
Uh, let's get our boats back over here in Pisa. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what is this, Navarra? No, decline. Um, you need more men over there, it looks like. Um, Trying to think of who else to ally. We're allied with Austria, correct? No, we're... Oh, we are. Okay, so we're allied with Austria and Venice. And the Papal State. We need one more... We get fit one more alliance. What we might do is attack Siena and vassalize them. And that will give us our other... Yeah, we'll do that instead. That's a better idea, I think. We'll get our boats repaired. In fact, we should probably pay off our loans. We'll pay all loans. Yep. 105? Really? It was that much? Holy crap! Well, there goes all our money. Um, so it's ten. It's it's one percent um, overextension for every development point. So so yeah, this would take us. Tw this would take us to twenty. That's a lot of um, overextension. Twenty eight, and then yeah, that would've been a lot. Uh, so. Provence has, like, no military, though, right? They, they just got their ass whooped. So it's Provence, Ferrara, and Parma. So we want... Ferrara has 6,000. Provence and Parma. So Parma has 6,000. Oh, I forgot how much it was. It's like 8,000, wasn't it? It was like, four, so I'd make it 14,000? No, 6 and 6, and six, so that's 12,000. And then Provence has 0, so that's 12,000 troops. I have more troops than Provence, Parma, and Ferrara combined. However, Ferrara has a slightly better general than me, and I don't know how Parma's general would be. Attacking Siena just sounds like a better idea. I do want to wait for my boats to repair, and I do want to—I do want to take care of this overextension before I do it as well. I hate you, game. I hate you so goddamn much. All right, so let's see what this would do. Uh, improving our would take 125 stability. Removing three inflation would cost us 75 plus. It's less, so. We'll gain the inflation. We do want to immediate. Well, we can't do it immediately. We have to wait for 150 administrative points so we can core this. Ugh. This is going to be a waiting game for a little while. Let's get our general out of here. We don't need him in the army right now. I don't know if generals uh, have a higher chance of dying if they're in charge of an army. But just in case, I, I remove them so that that's not a problem. I also feel like I should not attack until I get mailed. So there's a lot of things I want to get before I attack again. But needless to say, I have... Uh, Tunis is out. Is, what? Tunisia is rival to me. Really? There's my trade ships over there. What are they doing? What are they doing? Is that where you protect trade in Genoa? 
You protect trade over here by going over there. Oh no. No, I'm gonna lose the Republican tradition. That's not that's not a hard one at all. Okay, what are you doing, boats? Protect Protect in Genoa. There we go. Alright. Uh, our manpower does need to recover. Uh, it will probably not recover. We'll probably fail that mission because we're probably going to be going to war before it recovers. So that's just truth. Hopefully Sienna does not get attacked by someone before this, though. Why is France entering my territory? They should not be able to enter my territory. Or is that because I'm giving... Hold on. Revoke military access, yes. Believe me, believe me, Rome, when I say I am doing you a favor. <laughs> I am doing you a huge favor. Uh, I did not do Aragon a favor. They are just going to get pummeled right now. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, but he's allied with the Papal State. The Papal State would help them. Never mind. I was going to say, I could probably take Corsica if, if I really wanted to. Um, but no, that probably won't happen. Uh... N cancel. No. Decline. Naples. No. Uh, all you people are stupid and I hate you all. Still can't ally with Milan. Not that I'd want to because they're an idiot. Uh, Mantua. No. Doesn't like me. There's just no one else here that I can really trust. No one else in the game I can trust. This is what this comes down to. Um, no one else would be a really good ally. Um... <clears throat> if I could get Castile as an ally, that would be good. Or England. That would take a lot of effort. And mostly it's because I already have two powerful... Venice isn't powerful? Are you kidding me? Oh, they are. They've got seven... No, oh, they, they actually are pretty powerful. Is Venice and um, Austria still fine? They're still fine. Okay. So we have Venice and Austria on our side. So that's really good. Um... The Papal State, we want to keep high relations with, I think. Um, how are we doing? Oh, who else would I want to ally? I have no idea. No one, really. I think, I think we just, like, I think what we should do is actually just, just, um, uh, vassalize Sienna. That, that would be a good call, I think. We almost have enough points. Two more months. Uh, let's keep them. Sounds good. Oh, we got it because of the uh, event, the election. Because of the election, we can make a core. Yes. It only costs 135 points, too. I guess we could have made cores a little while ago. That's fine. Uh, yes, we want military technology. That'll be good. Um, ups our morale a little bit. And I think we want to attack Sienna now. I mean... Oh, we could offer an alliance. I don't want to, though. I want to attack them. I want their shit. Um, how, wait, how did France get over here? Oh, I granted military access with Aragon. Sorry. There's nothing I can do about it now. It's too late. I didn't notice them marching through my lands. Um. <laughs> my bed! Um. <laughs> what is my force limit now? Uh, 14. I don't want that. 26 boats, though. Let's get some more boats out here. Um. More light ships. More light ships, for sure. Uh, let's hold off on going to war. That seems a silly idea, though. Let's improve relations with the Pope. The Pope is going to lose this war, and is probably going to lose Romagna and Umbria. 
Uh, there's nothing that they can really do about it. Um, which means Rome is about to become... Uh, the Papal State's about to become a really bad ally, and I might drop my alliance with them because of that. Um, but who would I pick up other than that? I mean, there's nothing. There's just nothing. I think they just gotta end this war. Um, they've gotta be, like, low enthusiasm right now. Maybe, maybe medium. Like, they're only, they're barely winning the war. So it might come down to war reparations and that's it. So friends, Florence will have attacked uh, uh, Rome for money, essentially. <laughs> One more boats. More boats, more boats. Well, I think I'll end the episode here. So, <laughs> if you enjoyed the episode, uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.